Hi, and welcome to your Humber News Update. I'm Chantilly Post coming to you from a newsroom here at Humber College North Campus. Here's what we're working on at this hour. Investigators are now saying the co-pilot of the German Wings flight that slammed into the Alps on Tuesday deliberately crashed the plane. The decor has commenced depuis hier après-midi. The French prosecutor in charge of the investigation made the announcement this morning at a news conference. He says the cockpit voice recorded revealed the final moments of the doomed plane. Investigators say co-pilot Andreas Lupitz took control of the plane when the chief pilot left the cockpit to go to the washroom. They say they could hear Lupitz click the button that caused the plane to descend. They say that can only happen intentionally. The pilot can be heard pounding on the cockpit door to get back in, but Lupitz doesn't respond. He can be heard over the voice recorder breathing, but doesn't speak. The plane did not issue a distress call or respond to air control communications. It took eight minutes until the plane shattered in the French Alps. The CEO of Lufanza says he's speechless over the revelations. Lupitz was 28 years old. He passed his recent medical test, but pilots are not given psychological testing. To the Middle East now, where people in Yemen are rallying in the streets in a sign of support for Saudi-led airstrikes against local rebels. Warplanes have struck sites in Sana'a targeting rebels fighting to oust Yemen's president from power. Anti-aircraft fire lit up the sky last night as coalition plane hit multiple targets including a nearby airport and military base. There are reports Yemen's president has fled to Djibouti. His compound has come under rebel fire many times in the past couple weeks. This, the crisis in Yemen is at risk of spiraling out of control with Iran and the U.S. backing different sides. In the world of sports, looks like the Raptors live to play another day. And turning to weather, it's one of those early spring days. It's going up to only 4 degrees and more rain is on the way. We'll have all these details and stories and more coming up on our 2 o'clock news. But for now, we leave you with this. Brazil's biggest city welcomes a new daycare, but not an ordinary one. The growing trend of doggy daycare has brought pets and owners to Soy Pao. Indoor and outdoor swimming pools, treadmills, psychotherapists and fresh meat and vegetables make for a day of relaxation. But the owners and their dogs get much more than money. The dogs are on nutritional fitness and hygiene plans. Owners can also tune into images of their dogs broadcast live from cameras within the center. That's your 12 o'clock update. We'll be back with more Humber News at 2.